All right, you guys, so I'm gonna check out another really cool 3D website where basically you can upload your SVJ logo or PNGs and transform them into these really cool 3D Chrome logos. So let's take a look. So this is a similar website that I showed you last time, but here we got like more options going on, but with less quality. But at least you got like way more room to experiment. So the website is called formia.so. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description. And this is the mood board from where you can pick the style you want. For example, I'm gonna go with this really cool purple, select it, and basically it's gonna load in. And as you can see, we got this button right here with this, you can rotate it to left or right, or you can drag it up or down. So basically this is how you work with it, and you can also scale it down or up and move it around. It's really interesting and it's unusual because it doesn't have the X, Y, Z axis. So anyways, here we got the shapes, you can click on it. And here we got like default shapes. You also can see I already uploaded mines. And here you can upload the SVJ or PNG JPEG logos. I'm gonna go click on upload logo and I'm gonna upload the Nike logo, click on open. And as you can see here at the right side, we got all the options. And here we got the bevel. And as you can see, we got a couple of options here. You got the depth. You can increase it, but this is going to increase the extrusion and uh, not the bevel necessarily. And here we got the size, and basically this is the bevel for real. And 0 0.03, and you also got the thickness. This is going to extrude the bevel, but I don't necessarily like it, so I gotta decrease it. You also got the colors, you can pick your color, which one you like. So basically this is a gradient, so you know, you can pick the first one here and then click on the second one and select the second one as well. Or you can go here with a plain color, but I'm gonna go with the gradient. And then you got the roughness and the metallic. As you can see, the metallic is on 100%. If you increase the roughness, it is going to make it more plasticky, but I'm gonna decrease it. And there's also a really nice thing here. We got the lighting. You can select it and switch up the light. And then this way you got like different reflections because this is going to load in like different kind of HDRIs with different lightings. But I think I'm gonna go with the studio because for this scenario, this works the best. And then you also can change up the background. I'm gonna make it black. Actually, this is gradient also. I'm gonna go with a solid color. And if you wanna export it, you can scroll up and here we got the export button, click on export. And as you can see, you can export in low or medium. And if you wanna export it in high or transparent, you're gonna need to go pro. And from there, you also can download the original source file. Oh, by the way, I also noticed we got here the 360 video or 3D model. So let's check this out. So check this out, this is going to animate the logo. So let's click on download. As you can see, we got the medium and the high. I'm gonna go with the medium. Now, of course, you're going to need to arrange this a little bit better so it won't go out of the artboard. So if you don't want to learn 3D apps because it's too complicated, you can check out these softwares and just have it already set. So yeah, pretty much that's it and have fun.